I'm DJ Reborn, and we are getting ready to go behind the artist. And you are watching Behind the Artist, okay? And I have a phenomenal person. Oh, my God. She's a sister. She's a mentor. She is such a wonderful person, a recording artist, songwriter, singer, uh, all the above. Introduced to you. And uh, Makita, I want to introduce to you guys Makita. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So we're going to just jump right into this okay. interview. We're not going to waste any time. Okay. Okay, tell us a little bit about Makita and where did the name Makita come from? Oh, oh that's, that's a beautiful <laughs> question and I'd love to answer it. Um, as you know, <laughs> uh, my first name is actually Tiffany. Um, so when I was younger, my, my brother told me, he said, the Holy Spirit told me to call you Makita. And I was mm. like, what? <laughs> the Holy Spirit told me, oh, my name is Tiffany. I mean, I was in my thing back then, you know. Um, I, I was I was really arrogant about it, too. I was like, no, my name is Tiffany. And he was like, no. He said, I'm never calling you Tiffany again. <laughs> and he said, so whatever you do when you leave here, and this is when I was in New Jersey, he said, whatever you do when you leave here, put Nikita in it. Wow. Because it's a part of your mantle. It's a part of your calling. And I didn't want to listen. Mm -hmm. So anybody that knows me from beforehand, when I first got to California in my rebellious little sister, you know, because <laughs> it was my brother that told me, <laughs> I, I used Tiffany. Mm -hmm. So, and it, at the time I was married, and it was Tiffany Lang. So what happened is <laughs> there was an entertainer that had already um, copywritten my name. You know, mm -hmm. that happened with Vanessa Williams. Right. Vanessa Williams had to add an L to hers because of the Vanessa Williams from Soul Food. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. because she had already copywritten it and was sad, right? Mm -hmm. So this young lady just happened to copyright <laughs> my name. Tiffany. And I, yes, and I go to, I go to minister at a church. And the pastor steps, pulls me to the side, and he says, daughter, I, I, I just love everything that you do, but I, 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 I have a question. And it was all the stuttering and everything in the moment. And he said, uh, uh, were you uh, ever a lady of the uh, night? <laughs> Literally, he was singing, the night? Wow, wow. <laughs> This woman was actually in the adult entertainment room. Mm. She told me she was not going to take, um, she was not going to allow me to use my name. Mm. So, of course, what popped in my head, you and your rebellious self, what did God say? Wow. Mm -hmm. And the moment, when I say the moment, I did what I was commanded to do under the order of the Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. The moment I surrendered, my whole career changed. Wow. Everything. It was just like, I told her that about it. What? It was like, this, is, this was the gate. This was the yeah. door. You know, this was the gate to where I told you I wanted you to be. Yeah, was, I was going to ask you because oftentimes when Father names us, yes. there's meaning. Yes. There's meaning. So I was going to ask you, did he give you meaning? But I also mm -hmm. see his, his purpose as well. Yes. Right. The name means to the pouring vessel. Oh, wow. That's, That's powerful. powerful. <laughs> yeah. right. And you know what my rebellion was? I did not want it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it. I didn't want, I did not want to take the responsibility because I know to whom much is given, mm -hmm. much is much required. Is required. Mm -hmm. That's good, yeah, because most of us that are our call yes. don't want it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was so, I have always been afraid, I mean petrified to fail the most high. Wow. Come on, that's Amen. Petrified. I mean, yes. literally, I have always, when I was young, I would tell my grandma, 
I never want to hear the father say, go away, I never knew you. Mm, wow. Yes. You, to live your whole life. Right. Saying I love you, saying I worship you, and then you look at me and go, oh, I don't know you. Right. Yes. Who is you? Because right. you live vicariously mm -hmm. through apostle, bishop, pastor, mm -hmm. teacher, preacher. Yeah, but all these you sit titles. you down with me for yourself, with yourself, by yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I like about the season that we're in. Yes. We're in a COVID season, but it, it's it's forcing us to spend time with Father. The See, father. see uh -huh. he, he, he's tired of the religious mindset. Yes, he, he wants is. intimacy. Definitely. He wants relationship. Yes. And that's what I love about this yes. season. Yes. Yeah. It, it's amazing. Do you even understand the word corona means crown? Mm. Mm. We're in Revelations now. Yes, we are. Yes. And what did he say? Let no one mm -hmm. steal your crown. Wow. That's good. So this is a wonderful hour mm -hmm. if we can get out of our flesh. Right, right. That's powerful, people. Did you hear that? And powerful. catch it. Yeah, and catch, catch it in it. the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you catch it spiritually, mm -hmm. see, we gotta, you know, we were so groomed in. I know for me, I, I came from a a Southern Baptist mother, grandmother, grandfather. They were preachers and teachers, so I know all of that. My father, on the other hand, you, he, he was a whole nother gamut. It's about mm -hmm. the relationship. That's right. I love what my dad taught me because he was on the whole opposite end of the spectrum. My mother then we had to wear doolies on our head, a turtleneck, and a skirt to the floor. Wow. And I watched some of the most corrupt mess I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And then by the time I was 16, I walked out of church and was done. Wow. Yeah, and since, you know, she's already in that thing right there, yeah. tell us a little bit about, you know, how was it in the house, you know, in your household as a child, as you, you know, continue to just elaborate on that. And then also, how did, you know, when did it, when did you uh, realize that, you know, you had this amazing voice? <laughs> well, you know, I never really realized it. I, to this day, I'll listen to a, a track or something else. Was that me? <laughs> Literally, you know, um, Lou Lang has produced me since I, I, I've been in California. Shout out to Lou. Um, still my bestie, my ride or die. Um, he would always be like, girl, and, but I honestly, mm -hmm. I don't, I really don't take credit. Mm -hmm. That's why I love the name Makita because it, it means that I'm a vessel. Mm -hmm. So I can't take credit because I didn't give myself anything. That's right. So mm -hmm. at that time that I open my mouth, at that time that I'm speaking or teaching or whatever, it is not me. Come on. Mm -hmm. And that's how I finally got to understand where my brother would share with me now to him who was able to keep you yes. from failing, falling, falling, dashing, any kind of any. Right. You know what I mean? You are already all right. Right. Because it's not you. The mm -hmm. humility of yes. it. Yes. I love that. It is right. so important. Right. It's so important. And, and that's really how I grew up. Um, I had a, a grandmother, Lord have mercy. They told me I can never sing blues, jazz. I mean, when I saw um, the Tina Turner story, hmm. and and the little girl that played little Tina, Raven, <laughs> is like my baby. I love my Raven. She's a grown woman now, but she's still my baby. But Raven, I told Raven took a lot of me. Mm -hmm. When she was, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was me in church, getting my ear for go sit down. You were doing way too much. You know what I mean? You're over the, yes, I was out of line. Uh, soon and very soon, it was yes. movie. You know, I wanted to go soon. <laughs> right, right, right. And my grandma would look at me, and she was like, you know, gospel, 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 right? Um, but like I said, by the time I was 16, I was done. I'm yeah, done. that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. What was the actual turning point? Because I know we have our mindset mm -hmm. and we want to go one way, but mm -hmm. then you finally just say, you know what, I surrender. I have to do what you asked me to do, Father. What was that turning point? What, what, how old were you when you decided to? I was 19. Mm -hmm. And um, it was right after a suicide attempt. Wow. And I spent... I spent, what was it, like two months, I think, in the uh, suicide ward. I was under watch, and mm -hmm. at 19, okay. I, I attempted suicide. Mm -hmm. And um, 
me and the father had our first encounter, like personal. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, at 16, I was like done. I was done with the church. I was done with being church hurt. I was right. done with the people. I was done mm -hmm. with the facade. Mm -hmm. uh, I was done with all the act, the, 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 act, the, the acts. Mm -hmm. But there was really no truth and power that was lining up the way the word told me it was supposed to. Right. Come on. So I was done. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, if that's your God, I don't want him. Mm. And so I, I was going through my thing. I was mad at the Most High. I was I was going through it with him, you know. And um, I, <laughs> he um, he visited me. Wow. In that room, and I said, "Listen." So I know they really thought I was crazy, right? Because I was in there having doubt. <laughs> he said, "You will live and not die." Amen. I said, why won't you let me die? I want to die. Did you bring me here to suffer? He said, yep. I said, what? <laughs> wow. Yes. It's a part of the journey. That's good. Yes, amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, but you will not die. So you no will live. Exist. That's good. And he gave me the word kaya. I wrote a song. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't know at the time in Hebrew it meant life. It's about life and that's mm. who his son is. And I had to embody that. And I said, well, if you're going to make me live, because grandmama said I can't kill myself. <laughs> I said, if you're going to make me live, then you got to blow all this anger. You got to blow all this hurt. You got to blow all this rebellion. You got to get it up out of me. Mm. He Come said, on. well, when you ready. That's right. He said, oh, you think I got to do it? You got to do it. Wow. I was like, me? Listen, what you doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is how I talk to the father mm -hmm. constantly. We really have a father-daughter relationship. He is truly my Abba. And that's, that's so important. Yeah. The key word was relationship. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I um, just recently have been really looking closely into the thorn mm -hmm. you know some things he will keep and allow us to keep it in us mm -hmm. because it keeps us near him yes humble it humbles. humbleness yes, yeah it does. Mm -hmm. and then i love that you know i i've been praying for certain things myself to be removed but yes. but now father because my relationship has mm -hmm. grown yes mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving the yes. thorn yes. and knowing how to navigate through mm -hmm. you know the boundaries and the ups and the bounds mm -hmm. of the the thorn yes. you know Mm -hmm. And on that note, I wanted to ask you, when in the industry, mm -hmm. I know you were around a lot of different, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, what was one powerful moment that you can think of mm -hmm. where you really had a chance to make a difference? The day I witnessed Tina Marie give her life to the Lord in Baltimore, Maryland, mm -hmm. on stage, live, right in the middle of a concert. Wow. She she turned around and she kept looking at me and then she said, Nikita, Nikita. And I was like, oh my God, I'm singing that girl. Like, uh, uh, I, because at this time, she had started having seizures. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe she was about to go into one and she called me, you know, to come down and try to, you know, but that's not what it was. She called me and I leaned to the side of the mic and I looked and I said, what baby? I was like, what is it? She said, I don't want this life no more. Wow. I need you to pray. I want that God you've been telling me about. Who, who is that Yeshua God you've been telling me about? Come on. Mm -hmm. I said, well, he speaks to me in Hebrew, but he's everything you've been reading about. Mm -hmm. I read the same Bible. I just learned it from a different language. Mm -hmm. So that was a precious moment. The most powerful, powerful of my moment. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so impacting. The first time I did it without mm -hmm. crying. <laughs> so you have worked with Tina Marie. You've yes. been back up singing for her for... How many years? Tell us a little bit about you know some of the projects and some of the people you work with. Uh, Lenny Kravitz, um, Mavis Staple, um, Ziggy Marley, uh, Jesus, girls. Um, that's a rock band. So you'll see me go from jazz to the so I've done Doc Powell, Kirk, mm -hmm. Kirk Whalen. Um, I mean, I've been I've Jeffrey been across the board, too, wasn't it? Huh? Je Jeffrey Osborne. Yes, Jeffrey Osborne. Mm -hmm. Yes, my heart love him he is the sweetest guy um, but you know what the, the I think one of the best jobs I've had in the industry was with Eric Benet wow. well, he was the sweetest mm -hmm. 
him and my boy Malcolm. Malcolm Jamal yes. Morris, right. you know, he's like my brother. So, mm -hmm. you I know. remember seeing you guys when we were in um, Palm Springs. At the Spurs. Urban Network. Yes. Yeah, we did the Urban Network together. It was awesome. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, he was he was amazing. I mean, they they didn't let the industry rule them. Yes. They stood on their own post. Wow. And I, I love that about them. And, and that's why I surrounded myself with those type of artists. I would not take a lot of jobs that were offered mm -hmm. to me. I didn't want to take them because I would not go uh, past the standard right. that was set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I promised my grandmother I would take the good Lord with me everywhere I go. Everywhere I That's go. That's what she said. <laughs> she made me, she said, are you going to sing that bluesy boo? <laughs> you yes. better take the good Lord with you everywhere you go. Right. And right. you, you know, if you're going to do something, make sure you ask the question, will this mm -hmm. please him? Right. All right. So we're going to get a little bit deeper with Makita, the Yay. songwriter, singer, and we're going to take a break uh, right now. DJ Reborn, take us out. spoke earlier mm -hmm. you, you gave me a little bit about you know you had lost a husband and mm -hmm. you know how that affected your life and your daughter played a big part in your healing process yes she did mm -hmm. um, I raised five beautiful young kings I gave birth to three of the boys mm -hmm. two of them I adopted my heart because of my husband um, so my baby boy had just turned uh, 10, mm. and I find out that I'm pregnant, and I'm about to turn 40. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I was like, what? It was the funniest thing. 
Um, Cause uh, me and my husband have went to Jamaica. Of course I have family there. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were in Jamaica celebrating uh, a marriage and he said, one of us need to be spayed or neutered. <laughs> I said, well, it's gonna be you, bruh. Like me and we were just cutting up. And he said, um, okay, I'll do it. He said, but what if I want another child? And I said, well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Do you know how old I am? I just got it back all the way. You know what I mean? What is wrong right, with you? Right. You know? But um, we were laughing at it. We just had this really comedic argument. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is, I was already three months pregnant. Wow. 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 And didn't this, know, you didn't I know. Had no no idea. Oh, wow. Because I had a, a thyroid condition. Um, I had been fighting hypothyroidism for a while. And so I went to Japan and you know, they had given me some medication and told me my thyroid was acting up while I was over there because I would get this chronic fatigue and everything. But so I go back after my trip to Jamaica, I go back to Japan. I start feeling chronically fatigued again and da 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 da. So long and short of it is, I get sick, I go to the doctor, the doctor gives me thyroid medicine again, and I get in my, uh, I get in the limo to go to the theater to perform, mm -hmm. and the phone rings, and that's how cool I am with my doctor. <laughs> he calls and was like, tell Makita no. He goes, no, don't take the medicine. And I was like, why? Why? Of course, we're on speaker. He said, baby, you're pregnant. Makita-san, you're pregnant. I said, the devil is a <laughs> Wow, that's good. That's good. Wow. It was the funniest thing. I mean, I would not believe him. I instantly went into denial. It was the most wonderful thing that could have ever happened to Amen. me. Because I had no idea that my husband would have a rare skin cancer that would take him from us. Mm. We finally got a girl with all these boys. I finally get a daughter mm. and my husband gets cancer. And uh, by the time my year was five, he had transitioned. Mm. Um, that was, yeah, I still don't have the words. Mm -hmm. I just don't ever want to experience that again in my right. life. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was, but I know that I know. Mm -hmm. Our father so, is real. How could, you know, look in that camera over yes. there and tell your viewers mm -hmm. you might have those, um, mm -hmm. or a young woman, or a woman out there that mm -hmm. may be going through that same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, how did you, you know, kept a sound mind sustained and made it through? Yes. You know, it's, we, we never, we never get over it right. or, you know, losing a loved one. Right. You right. know, right. Like, when I lost my mom, we yes. just get through it. Yes. You know, so mm -hmm. explain that and, you know, share with someone or yeah. give them an encouraging word. I can, I can tell you that's the scripture that I constantly would share with my own soul. I'm like David. I had to encourage my own soul through that situation. Um, and the main thing that the father kept telling me is many are the affliction of the righteous, mm -hmm. right. but I will deliver you out of them all. Oh, that's right. Not some of them, oh. brethren, sisters, mm -hmm. not some of them, mm -hmm. all of them. But you got to be prepared for that. Many are the affliction. Right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That was powerful. Say that one you more time. You got to learn how to oh, yeah. be prepared for that the, many. Yeah. I'm very familiar with that. Many. Yeah, it's a <laughs> It's, right. it's a true thing. You, it, mm -hmm. and, but what you learn more and more and more is that when you see that the Father is with you, I, I be getting cocky now. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy. Oh, I, I know what you mean. I tell the devil what? Right. <laughs> Say what? Right. Because check it. Right. <laughs> if you couldn't see it, what you tried to do, what you said you was going to do, you done did it already. No, yeah. no, you just... <laughs> Could you imagine if, if all of us yeah. that that we we call ourselves Christians right. would move in that type of mindset? Yes. How better and how different this world would be? Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's amazing. Because that's where our salvation is. Right. It's a consciousness. Mm -hmm. It's and we a, have authority. Right? I have to know who right. you are and who right. you are. You know right. the authority that mm -hmm. God gives us. What we've learned is walking in walking in the Word of the Most High. 
It's everything. Applying the word, not just speaking it. There's some of us that speak it without the faith. Mm -hmm. Then some of us have faith and then don't do nothing. Right. But there is a formula right. that the Most High Yah has given us. And if we don't walk it out, y'all, mm -hmm. y'all hear me. Y'all hear me speak Hebrew. I call him Yahuwah. Yeah. I call his son Yahshua. You know. Yeah. So because that's how he re he reached me. And then that transformation happened for me, and I became a whole new creature. Right. And right. and I learned the spiritual nature that the Most High wanted us to walk in, not the religious nature. Ah, come on, you, you're speaking right. You, you feel me? So right. now right. I walk in power, That's right. Right. not just in mm, titillate me emotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand what I'm right. saying? Because right. right. I can catch a woo, I can get a yeah. I know how to hoop in church. That was yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. we, we're dynamic people. Yeah. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's just a part of our character, our spiritual nature is even dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's more dynamic because we got Yeshua, we got mm -hmm. Yah on the inside. So it's a whole nother thing, but my prayer is that we get that every trial and tribulation is so that we can be the light that we were called to be. That's right. You, we're his witnesses. Come on. If you don't go through nothing, how can you witness? That's Come right. on. You know, he calls testimony. us. Testimony. Yeah, you can't have a test without a test. Uh, testimony it. without a test. That's yes. it. Right. So I, I, I don't I don't run from a trial or a tribulation anymore. Uh, since you know I almost lost my firstborn mm -hmm. uh, in twenty nineteen was another bombshell. These these blows have been nukes. You understand? Mm -hmm. I, I said, man, I got to be soft rough for Satan to be coming at us like this, you know what I mean? And I think that's another thing. You gotta search yourself. You got to be something powerful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know that you said that I just want to <laughs> piggyback on that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you were saying you have to be powerful, you have to be positive. Mm -hmm. So in all of that, being an artist, being on stage, mm -hmm. being in the spotlight, mm -hmm. videos, and they see, you know, this beautiful woman, oh my God, she's so great, she's so this, but behind all of that, you just said that you have to be you know, powerful, know who you are, break, break that down. You know, you know who I am. And keep that balance. You know, you know? who I am. I, mm -hmm. took, I took Tiffany off, I took Nikita off, and I put on Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. I put on the Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> I put on my Shalom. Yes. I put on love above all things. And, yes. and I, that's who I am now. Come on. Without fear. Mm -hmm. I'm fearless in the Most High. Fearless, I'm not afraid to die because I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't kill somebody Baby. that's already dead. Baby. You know yeah. what I mean? But I do walk in knowing I am of a regal mm -hmm. priesthood. Mm -hmm. The Most High expects me to be one of the voices. You, one right. of the voices. You are one of the voices. Right. We're his battle axe. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, y'all, you looking at me, but ooh, this ain't nothing. That thing on the inside of me that really makes me me, oh, she ain't nothing nice. <laughs> She's slaying. Come on. She slays. She's yeah. a swordsman. She knows her word and she walks it out. Tell everybody, I am such, I am the epitome of a chick that will flip the script on you. You look at me and think you're getting one thing, and honey, when the, when the most high speaks, Amen. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's where a lot of the attacks come from because yes. I, as you're speaking, I'm hearing yes. so much boldness yes. and so much authority. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to figure out how can I keep her and, he, and, and yes. like you said, we have authority over you. Yes. You know, you, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. You know. He came for my 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 complexion in my career. I was too dark. Mm. I'm five nine and I'm curvy, so I was too thick. I was a snicker. And instead of being a snicker, I was the whole freaking food drink. <laughs> right. You know, right. so I wasn't just a snicker. I was a, a freaking entree. meal. Right. Yes, I was right. an entree. Exactly. So, so, yeah. so, you know, there were so many different things to really try to destroy me mm -hmm. and make me fold mm -hmm. that has happened on my journey um, in this industry. When the drugs came, they were, come mm -hmm. on, boo, you can do it. I don't need to be high. Mm -hmm. right. I don't need to get high to go out on that stage. They was like, you must be just cocky to, to just walk on this stage and you don't want to drink and you don't want to get high. No, mm -hmm. I never needed it. It's like we told you, at four, I knew yeah. mm -hmm. when I saw Diana Ross, there was an activation that happened. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's what I'm going to do. And my family was like, oh, there she go. I really am the Joseph in my family. 
I was I the one it. that they were just like, oh, would I you shut it. up already? Right, right, now right. you feel his hymen. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Now you shut the right. God, you know? And I told my brother at 13, I back in the day, remember the name belts? Mm -hmm. We had the, you know, you could get yeah, your yeah. 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 So <laughs> I had lady teeth and I was only third no, I wasn't even 13 yet. Well, I did buy the belt at 13. But I told my aunt when I was even younger than that, before I even got my lady T belt, mm -hmm. she gonna be my friend. <laughs> I had no idea I was speaking like it in my dream. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> she ended up being my friend. Wow. Wow. <laughs> For real, for real. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, so That's there's good. so much, there's so much that our journeys are, our, our journeys are supposed to bring him glory. Exactly. Right. right. So right. when the trials and tribulation come, when we lose the loves of our lives and all of these different pains and different things that we go through, you're just being purified. Yeah, that's that's the, yeah, that's the promotion. Yeah. <laughs> that's the promotion we right on the horizon. You are being I am about to elevate yes. you. So I have to allow you to learn something yes. before I get you there. So I need to prepare you for the journey. Yes. And that's what it's all about. The right? Most High just wants His glory. Right. Preparing. He's like, mm -hmm. give me my. I did that for you. I move and have my being because mm -hmm. of Him. Mm -hmm. And I'm clear on that. Wow. Mm -hmm. And nothing can sway me to the left or to the right. This industry couldn't do it when there were deals on the table offering me millions and they said, this is the way we want to present you. Oh, no. There's been a standard set for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm a beautiful black woman, so I'm, you're going to see that. Right. Yes. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't give me this. Mm -hmm. So, yes. but, but I, this is nothing. It's vanity. It's fleeting. My, my, I can take these extensions out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right, you right, know what I mean? Right, it's like it's, right. just, it's, the, it's the honest to God truth. So when we really get it, all of this junk is vanity. Yeah. It's temporary. I don't look like I did when I was 20. But you still can't tell me I can't handle it. Amen. You know, time is ticking, <laughs> yes. ticking, ticking. Tell mm -hmm. us, uh, tell your viewers, how can they get their music? How, how can they get in touch with Makita? And, you know, mm -hmm. maybe uh, if you do any, you know, uh, shows or, you know, how to get in touch with you. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Makita Live. Makita on Live. every platform. It's mm -hmm. Makita Live. Makita at IG, Makita at Facebook, Makita Live at Twitter. It's just Makita Live. You type me in, even Makita dot, Makita Live dot com. <laughs> all that. It's all, she's just live. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We <laughs> cannot close this show without prayer. Yes. So if you would pray, you know, um, mm. just pray. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there might be... Um, even pray for the artists, mm -hmm. uh, a young woman that's out there. Mm -hmm. and, and give an encouraging word, you know, before we close. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, my goal as a woman in this industry is to not say you can't go in it. Do I recommend it? Mm -mm. It's not for everybody. I do recommend that if it's a part of your purpose, the Most High will carve your own path out for you, that you can have authority, that you will lead according to His guidance. That's my personal opinion though. I really believe that you can be in this industry, but not of this industry. I made that the standard that I set for myself. I didn't care how much money somebody offered me. If it went against the standard that was set for me by the Most High, I shut it down. I, and I've been called a fool on many a times, but as long as I'm y'all's fool, I'm good. <laughs> so plan your work, work your plan. Don't do anything without prayer and supplication, asking for guidance, and may we all be covered with the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. And may the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, fill you and lead you and guide you into all truth that you can discern and see where to go and where not to go. That was so important for me. Right. I asked him, Abba, close doors that no man can open, but open doors that no man can close. Right. And I'm rocking with you all the way. And that's exactly how it's been for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, we are running out of time. Okay. You are behind the artist. I'm your host, VLB. And I'm your co-host, Carlisle St. Patrick. Until next time, next time.
DJ Reborn, take us out. Eight balls in the booth.